Chef Joe from Clean Eating, and today I'm going to show you three essentials that I always have in my kitchen. The first one is a lemon reamer, and you can pick these up at any restaurant or kitchen supply store. Now these are great because it makes juicing lemons really, really easy, and I use a lot of lemon juice, so this little guy gets a workout. So all you do is just cut your lemon in half, and just stick it right in, and you can see all the juice comes out really, really easily. And you can see there's no hardly any pulp or juice left in that guy. Now my next favorite is something that is a multi-purpose item which I love. I like things that can do double duty. So this is a rasp and these little guys are absolutely fantastic and they actually started out as woodworking tools. So this replaces a couple of tools in your kitchen. The first one it replaces is your lemon zester because this can make beautiful lemon zest. Now it's very sharp so you've got to watch your fingers but you can just get all the nice yellow zest off your lemon without any of the bitter white parts. So this is fantastic. And all you do is run your finger down the back and you get all of that. And look at that, it's so nice and fluffy. Now, the other thing that it's great for is garlic. So this also replaces your garlic press. So instead of chopping garlic or running it through the press, you just rub the clove of garlic right along the bottom. Now do it on the bottom because it makes it easier um, when you want to take it off the back. And look at this, pureed garlic, it's perfect. And the next thing that it's used for is for grating hard things like Parmesan cheese or chocolate. So this is really, really nice. Use a nice dark chocolate on any of your desserts and it's a nice fine powder. Now the next tool I couldn't live without in the kitchen is my strainer. This gets used every day. So it's a nice fine mesh strainer and this is great for a variety of things. Now if you're straining yogurt, which I often do, you want to make sure that you line the strainer even though it's fine with some cheesecloth. So a nice double layer of cheesecloth and you can just pour your yogurt right in there. And you want to let this sit at least overnight. What you're left with when you strain your yogurt is a nice thick yogurt for all your clean eating recipes and then you have a little bowl of water that you can just discard. And you want to make sure you put this in your fridge and like I said, ideally overnight is best to get the thickest consistency. For more essential kitchen tools, visit us again at cleaneating.com.